everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Title Tuesdays. My name is Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO, also known as your Title King. Don't forget to subscribe below. We put these videos out every single week to provide an added value service to you, our customer, our realtor, our investor, but I'd like to make sure that you subscribe below. So click the red subscribe button, make sure you subscribe so you get notification of next week's episode. This week I wanted to do a, a video talking about surveys, property surveys, because this is a question a lot of times we get asked at a closing. The first thing I wanna say is that for those of you that are buyers and you're gonna be getting some type of financing from an institutional lender, could be your regular traditional bank or you're dealing with a mortgage broker. One of the things I wanted to tell you is that the, the lender themselves, if you ask them, do you require a survey, they are going to say no. The lenders do not typically require a survey of the property. What they do require is what's called a Florida Form 9 endorsement that we add to your title insurance policy. So by them asking for a Florida Form 9 endorsement, it requires us to have a clear survey in order to issue that endorsement. Now, what is a boundary survey? So let's go back in time. A boundary survey is going to be a blueprint of your property boundary lines, okay? So this is going to tell us what part of the legal description that you're buying contains the land. And if you know from uh, videos back where we had a case several years ago about one of the clients that opted not to buy a survey and he realized later on that the property he bought did not contain the back lot which was his swimming pool it was actually two separate parcels so at his closing he should have been buying two when in fact he only bought one causing him years later to have to pay several thousand dollars to that seller in order to gain the rights to the swimming pool Fast forward, now we just had another issue on a closing where a client again decided to opt not to purchase a survey. And when the new buyer decided to purchase a survey, they saw that there was a portion of land that needed to be deeded to them, which was not. And thank God, again, we were able to get that corrected because at Independence Title, we go above and beyond. We contacted the original seller and said, hey, can you correct this for us and, and deed this over? But should that buyer have received a survey at closing, they would have seen the details of that. So it's a blueprint. Think of on a piece of paper, a sketch of your property lines. Now, what is a survey used for? Well, if you never do any construction to the property, it's probably not gonna be used for very much. It's probably gonna be put into a folder and not used. But if you have intentions of putting in a pool, putting in a fence, doing any type of property construction, redoing your driveway, fencing along the, the sides of the property, you are going to need a property survey. So as I always say with closing, it's not worth it to save a few dollars now in order to have to order it later on or not have it and realize that you missed an error that would have been shown on it. I can only give you coverage if you purchase a survey when it comes to survey coverage. So if you don't purchase a survey, unfortunately you do not receive that survey coverage and should there be a problem with the boundary lines, Unfortunately, you as the buyer would be stuck with nothing else to do. So the moral of the story, always order a survey for a couple of hundred dollars. It's worth it to have a survey, have an elevation certificate. Even if you're an investor, you can add that charge then to your next closing and pass that survey on to your buyer that is going to be purchased the property. And then we will just get it recertified over to the new buyer. So you might as well pay for it now because it's gonna need to be ordered when you flip that property to your FHA or your end user buyer and they obtain financing, the title company will have to order a survey. So wouldn't it be great if you can say, you know what buyer, I already have one for you. I had one done, let's take this and use it for your closing. So that's a wrap for today's Title Tuesdays. I hope it was informative for you when we're talking about boundary surveys and the benefits that it plays into title insurance and your next real estate closing. So as always, subscribe below. My name's Kevin Thatcher, the founder and CEO here at Independence Title, and I look forward to seeing you at the closing table.